Oh, 10 seconds left, Hart. I have a hard time thinking that either Chris Paul or Devin Booker will be involved here. It is Paul with six seconds. Paul guarded well by Kleba. Now Booker squares up for three over Richardson with 1.5 left. Suns go in front. Dallas takes a timeout. Their last one. Well, I just think he's, um, you know, he's got the, the heart to take those shots. And I've said that to you guys before. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I love when guys make those shots, but uh, when you have the courage to take them, and deal with the results. You know, those are the things I, I look for uh, when you're drawing up a player, when you're working with someone like Devin. And, you know, the players execute. You know, that, that's the deal. Like, all every coach has, you know, some type of play you hope you can get a shot off. But <clears throat> Coach and I grew up a beautiful play, um, and we executed, you know, from Chris. Get it in the ball. Um, having a having a bigger defender on him, still being able to make the pass, DeAndre setting a good screen just to give me just an amount of space. So in that moment, you know, I trust him, and um, I'm willing to live with the results. You know, because I think he his intentions are always good, and you know, just a heck of a a second stint when he came back in. Um, I thought the three he hit <clears throat> on the left wing when it was it was kind of muddy. And, and our offense wasn't moving well. That that three kind of set the tone for him. And then, you know, down the stretch, I mean, DA screen, Chris's pass, and then Book being able to come off and just knock a shot down like that. It, it's, it's uh, you know, those are moments that you really enjoy. You know, coach had a game plan and we executed, um, especially down the stretch, which was big for us. You know, I wish I was bright enough to say I came up with that play, but I've seen somebody else run it. And uh, it was a play that Chris has run before. So he knew the timing on it. DA set an unreal screen and Book came off with the intention of, you know, getting to his spot and just raising up. Man, um, <clears throat> these are the benefits of having played for Mont before and playing for Doc. You know, uh, execution was one of the main staples. You know, playing for Mont, it was like that. Playing for Doc, it was like that. So that's a that's a play that uh, we used to run for JJ Redick a lot of times. Um, me and Mont after the game was talking about another like variation of that play, but uh, it's just growth for our team. You know, we we always talk about the importance of execution, right? Executing and understanding that the game is never over. And um, you know, Book made the shot, but I got to go back and look at it. And I'm sure Da set a great screen, but Everybody has to do their part in order for a play like that to happen. The players deserve a ton of credit for that kind of execution because we, we haven't been able to do that um, early on. I told the guys, I'm like, we got to build on that. Like, whether it's a defensive uh, execution, which we did to stop them from getting off a shot, or offensively, like, that, that's something that helps us build continuity. You've hit five of those go-ahead shots in the last five seconds in your career now. How comfortable are you in those situations, and, and how much do you look forward to those opportunities? Um, I look forward to them, you know, when the opportunity presents itself. You know, that's why we work so hard. That's why we train so hard. Um, that's how I use the imagination in my workouts to put myself in those, in those situations. Um, you know, so we have multiple threats out there where – where, you know, teams kind of have to pick their poise. Um, and it, it's good to be a part of, like I, like I just said. But, you know, we, we executed and we came out with, with, the, with the big one, right? Chris, you know that's book coming off the screen. How much confidence do you have when you're delivering that pass that he can knock that down? All the confidence in the world. <laughs> uh, now, we play shooting games every day, every day. Me, book, Jay Crowder, and usually campaign. We shoot every day. And... Book, man, he, we talk about it, him, Clay Thompson, there's a few guys in this league who have the same looking shot every time. And when I, you know, spend and new book was coming there, if you just look like I could see him and he, his eyes were huge, you knew he wanted the ball and it's a big time shot. It was like a movie, that shot, because, you know, that's like the shot Luca hit in the bubble. Uh -huh. And uh, I was telling the guys in the locker room, I don't know if I can ever retire because um, the emotional roller coaster that you go on during the game, like.
for real, for real. Like there's no high like that, the energy, you know, when you pissed and mad and then to, you know, the joy winning the game. So um, it's, it's really nice to get a win like this that with this group of guys we got immediately after book hit the big shot he kept saying one stop one stop like that was immediately where his mind went when chris is trying to like chest bump him and stuff just like i guess that that was where his mentality immediately went to just what does that say about him as a player that even when there's a second and a half yet and he just hit a big shot that that's what his mind where his mind is you know when you're able to transfer your thoughts to uh, the winning part of the game it says a lot about book you know, with all the stuff that has been said about our organization and, you know, whatever it was, like that, that young man wants to win at everything. And, you know, his mind went from shot right to a stop. And um, that, that's a great moment for our team. And uh, like I said, we have to build on it. I know the first question is going to be about the foul to give. Uh, we're, we were well aware that we had the foul to give. Um, we were supposed to take it, we did not. And so that's my responsibility. There's not gonna be any finger pointing about it. Um, it it's gonna fall right in my lap. And, uh, you know, we're just learning the hard way that, um, you know, attention to the smallest details is of the utmost importance. Um, it's just, it's hard to imagine being more disappointed um, after a game. What was your view of the uh, of the shot that Booker hit? He 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 makes that shot, and that's why that's one of the reasons we were going to take the foul. He, you know, they were going to have to have a second play. I'm not sure if they had another timeout or not. But uh, I know you know all those situations. Is there you know or is there something you're able to do there to to not allow them to get that foul? Um, shoot, I should have known that. I didn't even know that. I mean, we. We lost a tough game like that against um, Denver. You know, we had a foul to give too. So uh, I think we just executed. It's just, it's, it's a really, it's a bad mistake. Um, and it's, uh, it's just, it's just so unfortunate because, you know, it's just, the game was there. You know, our whole last time out was about, you know, taking that foul and we didn't take it. And, uh, they got through their play. Book made a tough shot, man. You know, he's a great player. So you got to give him credit. Um, I think that I was I was on him all the way through it. My hand was up. I could have flew at him. But you never really want to fly at guys like that when, when they have a little bit of time left with the pump makes this curtain. So, you know, you just got to hats off to those guys. They came in and got two wins, but we just got to move forward. And that was it, you know, just uh... – Probably details, that's what I was saying before, you know, that's why we lost some little details that we have to work on, and that's what we lost.